The programs that were used to create this video are Camtasia Studio 5 and Microsoft Windows Movie Maker. Hello and welcome to XNA tutorial number 5. This is part of the Paddles game. And what we're doing in this tutorial seems to be all editing menu screen. It's a few pages long. Depending on how far we'll go, we might not get to the other screens. Yeah, from page 27 to 35 is all modifying the menu screen. So. I have the text version of the tutorial here for you to follow me. We're going to edit the menu screen, so follow the user following bullets to help you modify the screen. So we now need two lists of type text to hold the menu entries and help contents. Every text position, Y coordinate, will be set by the last text position's Y coordinate plus 5 or any value you like. So we need to create a constructor that will add the following text to the appropriate list. And keep in mind we have many entries as play game, help, or quit, and help is optional, you don't need it. And if you do not want to use help, you can just not follow me on the help contents part. And you can you are welcome to change the wording on any of these instead of play game you can say start or something like that. You are welcome to change those names. Now for the help contents it's just gonna be a list of key presses to help the user know what keys do what. So whenever you see the key, capital K E Y in italics, you decide which key you want to control. I will show you which keys I use so you can do the same if you want. So help, this is the title. Key dash move up. Key dash move down. Key in the main menu will quit the game. And less than press key to go back to the main menu. Okay. So also in the construct we need to initialize the selection to zero. So let's go ahead and modify our code right now. Go to C sharp and go to the menu screen. So we need a constructor. And that takes no parameters. We need a list of text. And that will hold menu, entries, and help contents. And we need to initialize the selection as zero. I'm going to do separate regions for each part of the menu. Okay, so now we have a lengthy process here. You need to add the every item to the appropriate entries and set the positions. Okay, so we need to first initialize these and then we call the menu entries to add and we say new text, we need to pass it a string and a vector to new text play game comma new vector to and I said 30 comma 80 for this one you're welcome to change it later whatever you want to do now we need to add again for the, oops, one more ending. 
we need to do it again for the help entry modify the text and it's going to be 30 comma last menu entry the last menu entry is position y position dot position dot y plus 5 and we need to repeat the same thing for exit and it's instead of menu entries is sub zero it's going to be menu entry sub one and i did 5.0f in the text tutorial so i'll do that here as well now that's it for that region i'm going to minimize that region now we're on to the help contents region we need to do the same thing help contents is equal to new now we do add new text help and a new vector to 30 comma 80 again and we highlight all that and copy that paste it now I I'm going to replace the key from what I currently have in the game. So for move up, I chose up arrow. And next tutorial, or next game, we'll discuss how to do mapping for input. For example, some user might want to have WSAD to move, some other user might want up, down, left, right. Those two can be available if they want. Move up, and that's going to be the same thing. 30, comma, last help content, Y position. dot position dot y plus 5.0f and I'm gonna put that on a new line copy that paste it down arrow move down help content sub 1 dot position dot y plus 5 enter paste escape in main menu will quit the game and same thing 30 comma help content sub 2 dot position dot y plus 5 and finally we need the back listen backspace to go back to the main menu and it is sub 3 dot position dot y plus 5 so we just did all the text we need to display you're welcome to change the input for each action if you want. And what we need to do now is to make some changes to make the menu screen appear.